Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The next step is to mount the upper cast on the articulator onto our pre-plastered lower. Now the model that you have, it's very critical how it fits together. You want to get this upper model on the lower model in such a position that there is no rocking when you squeeze on the front and the back. You can see right here there's no rocking on this cast. So that is the correct position that we want this model mounted. If there is rocking, you have to see an instructor about making an attempt to correct this rocks and marking a position that will eliminate the rocking because if you have rocking you will not have all enough of the centric occlusion stops. Now when we close the articulator you always should close the articulator on the upper to check to make sure that you have the um, correct positioning of this. Set your incisal table back to zero and you notice here that the upper ends up coming with an about a quarter of an inch of the incisal pin. All we got to do is put plaster between the articulator ring and the upper model. So we'll open it up, take some plaster. Again, you should have soaked the top half of that in a little bit of water so that you get a better bond of the stuff. As usual, this stuff comes out wrong and short. And then I'm going to load the rest of this stuff into the articulator ring undercut. And again, this upper one, this is the initial looting of the stone cast. Remember that you have to put the wax between the thumb screw up here and the plaster. Always checking to make sure that your casts are in exactly the same place and that they're not rocking. You might even put pencil lines that you use to cue it up. And um, if you have time to go around and smooth this up, makes it a little bit better. Now you can go back after this initial sets up, I'm running out of plaster now, and add additional plaster maybe to catch the outside lip of the model over here to keep it from breaking off in the middle of the project and then having to come up with a way to fix it. So now we'll let this plaster mix set up and when we come back we'll show you the way that the model should be moved and set. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.